Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Monday, 22nd of June. Fairly frustrated uh, in typical FX fashion. Uh, Aussie bounces uh, from O2 to the low last night in Asia. Back to 74. We, of course, were short. Uh, we sold some at the close on Friday. Um, with 100% surety, we thought, we thought, oh, shit, this is perfect. This is going to collapse. Uh, here we are, 67, 68. Um, anyway, stopped out overnight in Aussie, so a little bit jaded. Um, and the calendar's looking pretty light now on a Monday. We do have a BOC speaker at the end of the day. Macklem, never heard of this member, but uh, Bank of Canada speaker at 5 p.m. Um, we have CBI out of the out of the UK, and that's really about it. Home sales out of the U.S. Nobody cares about that. So, looks like we're going to keep things pretty quiet. Still a little stunned. It's just almost laughable. It's whenever you're a hundred percent sure about a position, you get clubbed like a baby seal. Um, it's basically FX summed up in a nutshell. Let's quickly take a look at gold. Uh, we've been talking about 1776 for a while now, and here we are. What do you think the high was last night? 1776. Uh, this is now break trade, I hate to say it, uh, but it is, gold futures, uh, feels really awkward, no idea how this could possibly work, um, but those are the typically, one, typically ones that do work, uh, so keep an eye out here, 1776, if you were smart enough to sell, uh, 1776 is last night, just leave a stop uh, at break even, because there will be, I think, um, some pretty big CTA interest at 76 and then again at 88 um, to get long gold. Yes, again, just sort of stunned. Uh, traded down to 27, gapped open, looked pretty bad as we sort of expected it. Now here we are at 72. It's not wildly bullish by any means. Uh, 3072 but we didn't even get down to the 200 day which trades at 3019 so no reason to get your uh, your bear pants on still above the 200 day 3016 is the 200 day we'll be watching that this week um, see how we go again kind of just numb and a little bit stunned um, that we didn't go further lower based on second wave COVID fears and um, Trump's rally, which to me looked like just a disaster, um, which is nice because I hope he doesn't win, um, but is bad for the stock market. So you know whether you will want him to win or not, him not winning means higher taxes and I think uh, lower stock prices. What else is out there? Uh, Dollar Swiss, not much to say. All the majors are now just kind of stuck. Uh, cable closed, very bearish. We did make a new low, but that also is squeezing, kind of Aussie style. Don't really know what to make of it. This is kind of becoming more interesting up here at 1750, but needs some work in Dollar Rand. Um, Kiwi made that barely new low. 84 was, uh, sorry, no, 80 did not make a new low. It's got an interesting point. It's far away now, percent away, but 63.80 now is sort of a little platform point there. Horizontal support, um, something to watch. Dollar CAD. Not doing too much. 136.88 is the important number there. 
not much to do there right now. Aussie yen, which boy, I could have, I would have thought we were going to get through 72.50 last night. Got down to 72.71. Now it looks like we're might bullish in golf. Crazy. We are not long, um, but we were happily short Aussie at the open, watching this crater through 73 the figure. Uh, but here we are, right back higher in sort of risk on mode, um, ish, sort of ishy risk on mode out here in the marketplace. Euro Swiss is not risk on sitting here at the bottom or bearish Euro Swiss as always. Um, this should revisit 105.10 sooner rather than later finally euro dollar no real idea market feels like it's caught long now um, don't know why we are bearish uh, dollars in general but um, I don't know three lows now 111.70 I'll have to see if this holds check this out in the four hours Market looks like it's caught long, but I have no idea what to do with Euro at this point. Um, dip buying looks a little bit treacherous. 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 Um, so we're just going to leave it alone. Uh, just to sum things up, folks, is on this gold chart. Uh, we'll be watching this uh, level pretty closely. U.S. Independence Day, 1776. And... Uh, our independence year and we're just licking our wounds in Aussie shaking our heads um, being patient now seeing what's next so gold in the crosshairs otherwise patience that's all I got for you today good luck out there people talk to you tomorrow ciao